is long. Number 11 at 11th milestone. He wants to lead this race right from the start. Trevor Nation up in third position at the moment through Quarry Bend. Malak Rai and Hislop really flying. But Robert Dunlop already feeling the strain. He's down in seventh place. Hislop closing in. Nation on the mountain, around the bungalow. Flicking it left, then straightening up to go over the tram lines. And this is what it looks like from Steve Hislop's bike, the fastest man around the island. Probably the smoothest, most inch-perfect line. The race leader, Steve Hislop, in absolutely sparkling form. His second lap, 122.47 miles an hour. Hislop's front wheel doing all sorts of dances on the tarmac as he white lines at maximum revs, heading towards one of the most frightening parts of the course. The top of Bagaro. Douglas Road Corner. Around goes Hislop. Inch perfect as always. McAllen charging hard. He's up into third position now. It looks like it could be a Honda 123. Dunlop at Bluff. Morrison now relegated to fourth position. The two RVFs circulating together. Joey Dunlop and Steve Hislop. The man they call the King of the Mountain, Joey Dunlop, being shadowed by the young pretender to his throne. Steve Hislop leading the new generation of TT heroes. Fellow Scotsman Brian Morrison heading towards fourth position. The lone Yamaha challenger against the might of the Hondas. Down towards Craig Nabar. The two Hondas take the chequered flag absolutely together, side by side, Dunlop and Hislop. But it's the other way round in the race order. Hislop wins at 121.09. Joey Dunlop on his last lap joins the exclusive Ton Plus 20 club and finishes second. Then it's McAllen, Morrison and Nick Jeffries completing the top five. Jackson, Williams, Morris, Radcliffe and Harrison complete the top ten. Another record-breaking victory for Steve Hislop, his second TT hat-trick. It seems ages since I've uh, been on the 750 and it was only last Saturday. There's so many different races and you're mixing it with different bikes, it's, it's hard to get settled in again. Do you think you'll come back and try for 125 miles an hour? Uh, I hope I don't need to go as fast as that. <laughs> Joey, can we have a word with you? Hello. That was um, a bit unlucky from your point of view, really. Oh, not really, no. I, like, I didn't get much practice in the bike. I wasn't expecting to stay with Steve then, I mean, it, I A lot really of people here it. were hoping that you were going to pull something out of the hat for this race, though. No, nah, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> like, the TT's a long way around, like, you have to be careful. Will you be back next year to try again? Oh, I'm going to have to come back, yep. You're going to have to? I'm <laughs> going to have to.